it's early. We need to do the video. We must start the video now. We'll get three rods going, we'll get three baits going. How about that? And we'll tell them, we'll tell them, uh, it's early. You need to come formulate a plan with me, buddy. Sit down in your captain spot. We need to talk about, we need to talk about the best baits and we need to talk about how you fish them and why you fish them and we need to catch a fish on each one or a couple fish on each one, okay? Okay, and we'll go home. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and uh, it is fall, it is fall. We got the red flannel fall shirts on and uh, Wally's are doing fall things. And uh, we just filmed a video yesterday on jigging and minnow, but realistically fall fishing to me is all about jig fishing. And there's a couple of different jigging presentations, kind of three in my mind that I use a lot this time of year. You can even say four and throw plastic in there. We've done so much plastic stuff. We're gonna kind of cover three different ones today. Um, but there's three kind of jigging presentations that are just um, kind of the mainstay for me in the fall a lot of times and one of those obviously the jig in the minnow which we filmed a video on yesterday we'll go into that and basically how you want to work it why you want to work it things like that from there we're going to go to one of my second favorite ones top three for sure the acme v rod this is a blade bait very effective bait in the fall catches a pile of fish really good bait all year long and i have been blown away by how productive this bait has been just in a lot of different situations this time this year in general it's the first year it's been out fish blade baits forever is the first year this one's been out and uh yeah very productive bait for sure so we'll talk about that bait how you fish it where you fish it things like that and then we're also going to talk about the tried and true acme hyper rattle and why this is not just a summer lure but it's also a phenomenal fall lure very productive this is kind of that early fall time frame you know but a lot of these baits are going to be productive all fall long so do not forget that and um we'll kind of go in that order we've got a blast off take go across the lake here start with the jig hopefully catch a few fish on that kind of go into it then like i said we'll move to the blade bait and then we'll go to the hyper rattle and with any success in an hour's time from now we should have all three of these accomplished and be catching fish on all of them but fall absolute favorite time of year i wish fall would last for six months and summer would last for one month but hey it is what it is. Fall, all about the jig bites, and that's what we're going into today. How you can jig three different presentations and be super successful all fall long. Stay tuned. Let's get it going on. All right, so jig fishing, you know, in the fall, what we're mainly talking about is bringing up some larger minnows. And even the minnows, these minnows are kind of small for... A lot of this fall what we'll actually be using but oh if i can grab him here he's wily he's angry our uh you know up here in wisconsin we get a lot of walleye suckers for minnesota it might be a creek chub might be a red tail might be a shiner might be whatever but for the most part i like fishing long shank jigs if you're fishing a short shank jig and a sucker there's just not a lot of hook there and especially the way i like to hook them where i like to come in through the mouth like this and end up coming out right through the skull will that kill the minnow absolutely will kill the minnow but um, that doesn't matter as much um, for this type of fishing basically what we're doing we just want it to stay on there very good if you start making long casts with lip hooked minnows uh, they're going to fall off and just not be as productive that way so they stay on a lot better and that's kind of why i like that long shank jig if you fish a short shank jig and try to do that it's just going to kind of constantly um, be a losing battle all the way down to the bottom of the lake And I always kind of like this little bit poppier style of jig fishing. I'll kind of work my rod sideways here so you guys can see it. Something that looks a little bit more like that versus just kind of like a drag. Of course, cadence can change day to day. A lot of it's based, you know, on water temp. When it gets real cold, I'll slow this down and just shorten it up a little bit. But in this clear water, I definitely like fishing a little bit snappier like this. And with these Elliott rod, you know, every time this bait hits the bottom, I can feel it just kind of hit the hit those rocks or the hard sand. Braid goes a long ways too. Fishing braid on this rod gives me a lot more sensitivity down at deeper depths. Oh, oh, there's a bite. There's a bite right there. Minnows, I like to let them eat it for just a second. Make sure it's still on there. 
Oh yeah, right there, <laughs> hooked up. And that's jig fishing, to a T, look at that. First cast right there. And most of your bites, this is not gonna be a big fish at all, but most of your bites are gonna come. And just like just happened there, I popped that thing up and uh, pendulumed it down, you know, kept my rod high like we talked about, and the fish pops it on the fall. Just a classic jig bite. And that is just a small little fall wall, but we gotta do better than that. We'll get, we'll get one more on the jig and then continue on with the video, but you know, that's pretty much as simple as it gets right there. And uh, like, like I said again here, whoa, 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 he's angry. I can't hold on to these little guys today. But in through the mouth like that, up through the skull like that. And they'll sit very well on there just like that on a long shank jig like this. This one in particular is the Kalen's Pendu jig. It's got a little rotating head on it. Which uh, has been a nice feature because it definitely gets stuck in rocks a lot less. If you're jigging a lot of rock, try this jig head. And even I think a lot of times it gets in the rock and you kind of pop it and that, that head swings around versus having a fixed head where it's just kind of stuck stuck. All the way down to bottom. Very important. There's two ways you can kind of tell if you're on bottom or not. Your line will eventually stop going out or sometimes you'll feel it. Once I'm on bottom, pop it up. Wow, we got bit right away on that one. He's on there. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, fall jig bites. I tell you what, that one bit just immediately too. How much fun is that right there? And look at that Elliot, 7.3 medium light just loaded up. This is one rod, or if I could just put a jig on this rod and just do this for the whole season, I would. I absolutely love fishing this way, and I think every walleye guy would probably agree with me that it's probably the most fun way to fish. Feels like we got a nice fish here, surly boy. Oh yeah, real nice walleye there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're just gonna grab him so nobody else kinda hones in on our location. I mean, this guy's so angry, he's just making a scene here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Fall jig fishing. Man, does it get any easier? Does it get any more fun than that right there? Let's grab that guy. He's hooked real well. You can see how hard I'm setting the hook. I like that big long swing, especially when I'm out here in deeper water. Because you got a lot of line out, especially when you're casting it far and fishing in deep water like this. There we go. How about that? Beautiful fall walleye on the jig. Let's let that guy go and uh, move on. Do something different. Jig fishing. Too simple. Too productive in the fall. See you later, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Did you guys see how ferocious that bite was? First bite on the blade bait, and I mean smoked it. Absolutely pounded it. And you guys can kind of see how I worked that. All the way down to bottom, and more of a ripping than uh, you know, kind of fishing that standard jig in a minnow. Wow, did he absolutely smoke that thing. I mean, that was insane. That was ridiculous. If they all bite a blade bait like that, my gosh. I'm fishing one of my favorite colors here. This is the, uh, I believe it's called Big Muddy Color. Started fishing this a lot in Sturgeon Bay this spring. And that color right there, lethal, lethal, lethal on these clear water walleyes. This is the 3 8 size. They're coming out with larger sizes than this, but I think that 3 8 is a phenomenal kind of universal size. Um, you know, for a lot of that mid-depth stuff. Or oh, even, whoa, 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 we fumbled them. We fumbled them. There we go, come here, buddy. That 3A side is just kind of lethal this time of year. There we go. Beautiful, you know, 17, 18 incher. Let's let that guy go. But, you know, blade bait fishing's been around absolutely forever. And uh, 
they have you know kind of come a long ways but the principle is kind of the same you know it's a vibrating bait no rattle in it and uh you know this is the acme v rod you know one of my absolute favorites right here always put a snap on there i generally put it on the middle clamp like that and you know there's several different ways you can fish this you can go vertical most time i like casting it but we filmed a bunch of stuff this spring where we were river fishing and going vertical basically the way i fished this vertical in really cold water would look something you know late in the fall this is a productive way to fish all the way down to the bottom i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna do something that looks like this right here each time letting it hit bottom pop it let it hit bottom pop it let it hit bottom almost more of a wrist snap than like a big movement of the rod this time of year you know i kind of like to cast it and get a little bit more aggressive with it so what i'll do i'll pitch it out there let it get kind of all the way down to the bottom which takes a little bit you know 26 27 feet of water and once i'm down there i'm kind of fishing it like i would like uh, rip jigging like a swim bait not so much snap jigging but more rip this is kind of a fast pull so what i'm doing is like i said all the way down to the bottom so there we go around the bottom kind of a quick pull like that and i kind of semi slack it on the way down i don't want this thing to stall up too much because it doesn't have you know a ton of different action on the way down it's more so just falling that up movement is you know real hard and slappy and aggressive so all your bites come on the fall or sometimes they'll bite it right when this bait hits bottom like i said popping it up following that bait down so when i pop it up i kind of follow that bait down at the same rate it falls i don't want it to hang it up too much and every time you know letting it hit bottom and going fast now as the water cools i'll go to something more that looks like this these little almost like six inch pops with the rod tip when i pop it up but this time here you know when you get these water temps in the 60 or you know mid 50 and up degree range pop it like that i really like to get this bait moving a lot more and sometimes what you'll notice is you might have two guys in the boat fishing you know the same thing and one guy will be going real finessey this time of year when the water is still warm and uh you know the other guy will be doing kind of this more rip thing and the guy who's generally ripping it harder especially in clear water will get more bites now when you go to dirty water and that water starts getting real cold that little short pop like that that short hop is definitely the way to go when the water gets real cold almost like you're just barely getting it to go off the bottom but you know for the most part this kind of early fall time frame like i said what i like to do maybe we'll catch a fish here maybe we won't we'll see all the way down to bottom kind of that more aggressive fast pull like that and kind of more with your arm you could probably do it with your wrist too something that looks about like that and you should be feeling that bait every time you know real hard and aggressive this bait this v-rod is phenomenal it knocks super hard on the way up when you're pulling it whether you're pulling it fast or slow it has a ton of vibration i don't know we might have kind of burned this school up here we'll see but you guys can kind of get the gist of what i'm doing here kind of that fast pop up you know a couple feet pop and just let it kind of tail down on its own so really found a water bottle and he is content but the v-rod obviously blade baits are super productive really anytime the water's cold so you know from now on out this is going to be a player and you can throw that quarter ounce one they make a smaller one up in some real shallow water or you can take this three eighths ounce one and uh you know fish it out in some of these deeper depths and be unbelievably productive with it but don't go anywhere in the fall without a, without a blade bait they're super productive and a lot of times they'll be equal to fishing live bait and the big bonuses with these is you can fish them a lot faster right there fish on man is this everybody's favorite style of fishing or what and just unbelievably effective this time of year you know everybody's all caught up on doing this all summer long and i think a lot of people put them away as summer kind of turns into fall it's a very fast bait but the difference is is when when the fish bite them the bait is completely stalled out because it's laying on the bottom it's not like a crankbait that might you know be moving really fast all the time this bait moves really fast when you're fishing it but it also comes to a complete stop when it's on the bottom and that's when you get bit and there we go it's a beautiful fall walleye right there on the acme hyper rattle like i was saying you know a lot of people i think fish this bait all summer it might be staple for them 
and then fall comes around and I think they just go straight to a jig or a lindy rig and that's what they do all fall when this is just an unbelievably effective way to catch fish and you know that first spot we were on that was kind of like um, um, you know fish kind of spread out all over the top of this little rock rise well the spot we're fishing right now it's a really big flat with nothing really out here no large concentrations of fish and all these fish are just kind of two fish here one fish here one fish over here so a lot of times driving around from mark to mark and just sharpshooting them like I am right now incredibly productive way to catch fish and that's exactly what this style of fishing is kind of geared for and like you know like I was saying a lot of times this presentation is so snappy it's so aggressive that I think people don't do a lot of it you know in the fall and it's really a good way to fish all the way late into the fall you know this time of year what I'll generally do is I'll drop it straight down I just kind of pitched it forward here through the boats moving but when we get all the way down to bottom you know this is the same way I fish it in the summer when you've got these 60 to 55 degree water temps all the way down to bottom hit it real hard straight down slack your rod what you do not want to do is something that resembles this right here i see a lot of this going on on lakes that is bad this is just lifting and dropping the baits doing nothing what you want to make sure you do is hit that thing hard and on a slack line let it fall on a slack line what will happen is that it'll just go to pop up again there'll be a fish on sometimes you can go to this double hop let it hit bottom other times just that big single hop now the other way you could fish this is just kind of short cast it too this bait does not work well on long bomb casts. They just do not seem to do very well doing that. But short little pitch casts, get it out there. You know, a lot of times you can kind of do this from a spot lock position if you're in an area where there's quite a few fish. All the way down to bottom. And same type of thing. Hit it once, let it fall. Hit it twice, let it fall. Every time you need to be hitting bottom on a slack line. If you're used to jig fishing, you do something like this. Let it pendulum down, you will not get bites. Hit it, slack line. Hit it, hit it, slack line. And as that water cools, a lot of times I might go to something that looks like this a little bit more, where that bait spend more time on bottom and does not come as far off at bottom. You know, as the water cools, these fish's strike zone will shrink a lot. So what you're gonna see happening is they don't want that bait to come way up off bottom. So like I said, we'll get it out there again here and kind of show you, you know, this time of year, it's that real hard, aggressive snap. Well, as that water cools down and into that, you know, um, 60 degree and under time frame all the way down to you know even when the water's real cold I like to do something that resembles this a lot more and you're almost just kind of hop skipping that thing on the bottom like just like that right there and I got mono on so my line stretchy so that bait's not coming real far off bottom this time of year though in this early fall I still get pretty aggressive with it when we got water temps in this 60 to 55 degree range under that and then I'll go to more of this just kind of you know real short little hops like this and uh, both methods are effective and uh, obviously it's just a phenomenal bait to fish anytime you have fish in deeper water so if you're not fishing these acme hyperidals late in the season absolutely get some the sun angle is probably terrible right now but we'll just see if we can block it there we go you know this time of year clear water i love my purples colors like that right there if you're fishing dirty water go to a fire tiger or some kind of uv color and you guys are going to be super productive this time of year Oh, Surly, we got walleyes down there, buddy. We got walleyes on the screen, Surly. But will they bite? I think they'll probably bite, huh? Should be able to get one out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Surly. We'll definitely be able to get one out of there. <laughs> oh, man, it's just such an unbelievably fun way to fish. I think we got a decent fish on here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, have you ever seen a more beautiful sight in your life than that right there? Hyper rattling fall walleyes. You can smell the fall in the air. And uh, given the fact I've caught fish on three different jigging presentations today, that really lets you know fall's here. Fall is all about the jig bites. This one absolutely wolfed the hyper rattle here. And uh, obviously there's plenty of trolling up, you know, stuff you can do in the fall too, and it's all situational and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, a lot of times fall to me is going back to a various number of different jigging presentations. And obviously we've kind of showcased three really good ones here. I might need a player's, there we go, it came off. Three really good ones here today. The hyper rattle, blade baits, and just your standard jigging a minnow. And look at that, fall is officially here and uh, I'm loving it, absolutely loving the fall bites. and looking forward to traveling around and just catching a ton of different fish on jigging presentations this fall. Look at that, sir, you wanna lick them? Get them, get them. Okay, we'll let them go for now. We'll let them go for now. 
back to the depths buddy well i appreciate you guys watching this video i absolutely love fall hopefully you guys absolutely love fall and hopefully you guys absolutely love watching fall walleye fishing videos because we're just getting rolling here and uh tomorrow i believe i'm leaving for a multi-day trip um, to kind of do some stuff in minnesota i think is the plan for now but i fly by the seat of my pants so who knows what's going on but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video hopefully you guys learned something or maybe hopefully it was just entertaining to watch and i uh, appreciate it hopefully you guys want to subscribe comment like because that really helps my channel out a lot and purchase merchandise possibly if you really want to support this channel a lot and uh you know i work my butt off every day hopefully giving you guys hardcore practical walleye information i appreciate everything in return so appreciate you guys watching stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys next time